feel free. But I still want to fight. As you guys probably already know in the title, we're gonna do some crappie fishing. I'll show you what I'm using here. It's a Field and Stream Tech Light. They're pretty sensitive. Let's see, 5.6 oh, five, Ultralight paired with a little Abu Garcia. And then I've got a six pound Berkeley Nanofill to a four pound Seaguar fluorocarbon leader. And so what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna rig up a, hope you guys can see this. I'm gonna rig up a bobber stop for crappie. Another little tip here guys, I check all my hooks. I can't tell you how many fish you guys, how many more fish you guys will catch if you just take a minute and sharpen your hooks. This is how you check to see if a hook is sharp. If it sticks to your fingernail, if it's sticky and doesn't slide off, it's sharp. Ultimately when you're pitching around the bushes, you want, your, you want it to be as horizontal as possible. Okay, you see the jig now? It's just a silver flake. I'm gonna take and just uh, dip the, just the tip of that tail, about five seconds. And then look at that. It does two things. It gives it a little bit of scent. It keeps my scent, the scent off of my hands masked. And it also creates a little hot spot. So see now what this does, because this bobber, so when I cast, all the weight is at the jig. And then when I, re when I let it sit, that bobber slides up to the stop and then I can easily adjust it. I can make more accurate casts. So I'm putting my flippers on. These are just backpack, backpacking flippers. I'm going without, I'm not using my waders today because the water temperature's in the 60s. Jet boat. It's crazy. There's nothing like going fast on the water. It's so much fun. So with a slip bobber, you want to make sure you give it some slack so that jig pulls down. I'm into the jig. Oh. Wow, look at that guys, first cast. It's not a slouch, but man, that would make some good, good musky bait. Look at those pearl blues and the pearls on its back, the purple hues. Let's let this little guy go. You're free, dude. These fish are pretty aggressive. Leave a little bit of slack, count three, and there we go. You can see why a bass would like silver and green pumpkin and pearl. All the colors. One thing I've really come to like, guys, is this. So simple to carry. Oh, I got off. Alright, I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna kick over to this. These flippers, ultimately, they're made to go over wading, your wading boots, but they work fine over my trail runners. Okay, guys, yeah, let's get back up in here. This is gold. I know, there's one catch. These look so far, it looks like I'm caught I'm catching the males that are out here cruising. There we go. Wanna, maybe if we get in a little uh, closer, we could catch the females. You like that jig, don't you? I'm gonna 
get some eater size. I was gonna keep some. With this whole pandemic thing going on, I'm worried, you know, the price of beef is gonna skyrocket. So I told my wife, I said, you know, let's catch some fish. Let's get back in there and let's think of it. If that wasn't a slip bobber, I wouldn't, this feels like a little better one. I wouldn't have been able to make that cast. My jig would have flopped over and uh, got hooked. Catching a lot of these little males. Still so much fun. I just come to enjoy all types of uh, fishing, you know, uh, whether it's micro fishing or fishing for some slouch donkey bass. I mean, I'm happy with the tiki ones. They're fun. I'm not going to complain. Oh, and guys, the other day I hooked a monster that towed me around. It literally towed me for like at least 10 minutes. It's all much fun. You guys should go check out that video. I don't know. I think these fish are really shallow. Alright, guys, let's get in a little closer. If you can't afford to get into a kayak, I mean, I, I highly recommend one of these. It's a good starter boat. It's also fun to fly fish out of. I used to fish for crappie in Arizona, this lake called San Carlos. And I promise you, you guys, we used to catch, I caught three and four pound crappie out of Roosevelt Lake and San Carlos Lake in Arizona down by Globe. I'm gonna get in a little bit closer so you guys can see the bobber. And see, crappie's like a really slow presentation. They don't like a, like a, a fast fall. Um, there's another one. So that's why you want to use as light a head as possible. Sure did love that. What makes this spot good, in, in my opinion, is that it's close to deep water. And uh, crappies like a f fast escape to deep water. And crappies are not bottom feeders, guys. I mean, you can catch them jigging a bot, jigging them jigging a jig off, off the bottom but 90% of the time you're gonna catch more fish if you're fishing in the upper column above the fish they're just they like to feed up this one just came up and ate a bug should should tie a little popper on there we go thank you lord they're just little guys okay he wanted that Breathe in. Gonna go. Let's show you guys something. Okay, ready? Let's do a 360 here. Give you guys a 360 pan. Some big pelicans back there. There's my wife over there in the red kayak. And we're gonna go to the best part. Get ready for it, guys. Get ready for it. The best part's coming. Look at those mountains. Oh, and a, and a fish jumps at the same time. I tell you, man, this place is pretty. Utah, guys, Utah. You don't get a bite by the time that jig falls. Then I'll give it one little hop. Let it fall again. All right, so I'll try something to go a little bit deeper. Hey guys, it's falling, it's falling, it's falling, it's falling, it's falling. We're gonna get bit. See him take it back into that tree? Oh, he got off. Let's duplicate that. Pitched it right in that tree and watch that bobber. Okay, it's falling, it's, it's done. It's at the bottom. Ah. Meaning that the bobber hit the knot. Whoa, dude. He's hiding out of my kayak here. I mean, not my kayak, but... It's like, dude, you don't want to live there, man. Oh, he's been caught before. Look at that.
you guys can see, see if I didn't speak everything in there. Surprised how these fish aren't that spooky though. We'll see if we can catch a couple more guys and the sun's going down. Oh, I just saw one bust the surface over there, but I really want to try back here. Let's see if there's any females back here on this flat. I mean, there's just got to be a zillion crappies in here, guys. So much fun. Got to shake. Sometimes you got to shake that line when you're using a really light line to get the. Uh, to get it to slip through. Hey! Right on cue. Here comes the wife. She's in her kayak. Let's release this fish and help my wife. So my wife has been catching crappie too. And she just caught a what is it? It's a bullhead. That's cool, babe. Good job. Yeah, I don't know where to get that one off, though. I caught perch, too. That's I a nice bullhead. <laughs> it's fun, huh? Yeah. So you just want me to help you get this guy off? Yeah, you get him off? I don't know what to do. I tried to get him off of my pliers, and so you wanted, to chomp down on my finger. I'll show you guys how to hold a catfish. Um, the way I hold them is I put my hands behind their back, these two dorsal fins. Everybody's so worried about these things being stingers, and they will sting you. Look at this bullhead my wife my wife caught on a crappie jig. But yeah, I put my on the small ones like that, just put your two fingers behind the bat the two bottom fins and then hold their bottom jaw open. Like, you can't do this on a big cat because they'll eat you. Yeah, he, you can see he spun around. Thank you. Do you want I wanna get a picture of you with them? A lot of small males. Wow, it's like getting really cold now. Look at my wife. Comes and snakes me. I like fishing with you. Look at look at the bobber. Okay guys, I'm getting really cold. sunset I hope you guys enjoyed that little crappie session um, it's fun there I've really come to enjoy ultralight fishing for panfish maybe we'll get into some big females next time but I just want to say um, uh, thank you guys for watching I appreciate you guys hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you guys in the next episode